This is John Wayne Mercure speaking, the Sonneteer. Mercure is an old name, more than 2,000 years old. It means Mercury in French. There are 790 Mercure hotels in 61 countries. 25 Mercure hotels just in metropolitan Paris. I love my name. I hope you love yours. My name is John Wayne Mercure, and I'm going to read you this sonnet here. It's a beautiful sonnet. Why? Because I'm in love with this woman. Marilyn, sweet Marilyn. Marilyn Monroe. Every young man I knew, including myself, was madly in love with Marilyn Monroe. Everything a boy could envision in an angel from above. Marilyn Monroe, a gorgeous diva above all other goddesses. Maligned by the jealous, pernicious critics, so vicious. Insulting poor Marilyn from the very beginning, so heartlessly. Revolting human vermin feeding from their foul yellow press. Innocently gullible and trusting was she, stabbed by the envious, constantly harassed and mocked by running dogs so ravenous, saying, she couldn't sing, she couldn't dance, you can't act, teased about her voice, brain jackasses tearing everyone into shreds, the Dolce Stoice, that's German for stab in the back. Now you gotta remember, you can see somebody that's smiling and Chaucer a thousand years ago said this, the smiler with a knife behind their back. And they were always stabbing her, saying they were gonna help her and they didn't. Marilyn Monroe was born into abject poverty. Her beloved mother was ill. Marilyn was all alone, a forlorn little girl. Foster parents with hearts of stone. They put her in orphanages. They put her in foster homes, 15 of them. Abused sexually, violated by almost everyone she ever trusted. Used her whole short life by predator sharks of evil lust. Loneliness is almost more than anyone can bear when you are isolated alone. Hopelessness can provide, pervade all thinking when you are violated. Well, the truth is that lovely Marilyn was immensely talented. Telling people they are worthless is wicked Freudian id. Id, according to Freud, is the animal in all of us making fun of her. Why? Jealous. Envy. She had a fabulous face, incredible body, marvelously flattering clothes, enormous courage facing the howling wolf pack's murderous blows, looking for true love her entire life, found only with Joe. Jolton Joe DiMaggio, a great baseball player, a great human being, her only true love. Taking time, Marilyn, to visit our soldiers who worshipped her so. She loved the troops to go out there and entertain them, and she did it. And I thought that was wonderful for Marilyn to do that kind of service for her country. Evidence remains that she intended to marry Jolton Joe DiMaggio again. Intelligence, and I've studied it, points to her murder. Marilyn was secretly slain. The great hand of justice reaches out into our lives inexorably. Fate does not escape conspirators conniving so wickedly. The swift hand of justice wreaks assassinations to the powerful, bereft of honor. Vulnerable men of power are culpably evil. No one gets away with anything in this life or the next. And I'm telling you, Marilyn Monroe, she said, work is a form of prayer. And I believe that your effort with your family working, that's a form of prayer. And Marilyn, she gets dumped on. She got murdered. And now... She's one of the most famous people on the planet. Even now, her estate is making more money than ever before because Marilyn Monroe, she's my 
hero, and I can't say heroine. She's my hero and has been forever. I'm in love with this woman, a poor little girl who stuttered. I don't know where she found the strength. Rest in peace, Marilyn. God bless us, everyone. Thank you for listening. Au revoir.